Hey guys, Jeff the Zoo Guy. Beautiful. This is a bobcat. And bobcats are, again, pretty good range on a bobcat. You can find them from the north all the way down to states like Florida. Um, this particular one's a Montana bobcat. And I'm wearing a glove just because it's a, it's a cat. It's a bobcat. And got some pretty big teeth. And so it's just to protect myself while I'm in, in here with her. Now, one thing I want you to keep in mind is if you do see a bobcat in the wild, you don't want to go up to it like this. Biggest reason is, is not all of them are this nice. This particular guy was actually an orphan and, and raised by humans. And the people realized that it wasn't an easy animal to have as a pet. And so we adopted him at the Beartooth Nature Center. Center. And so that's why he is actually here. But Bobcat named so because of that bob tail. You notice how short that tail is? That's where the name Bobcat actually comes from. Now these guys, despite not having a tail and a, really a lack of balance, are pretty incredible climbers. They're really good at getting up in the trees and actually um, and, uh, catching prey, and they're incredible jumpers. What they do is a lot of times they'll ambush birds, and what they'll do is they'll chase a bird, wait for it to actually fly up in the air, jump up, and actually grab it out of the air. So pretty good hunters despite um, the lack of that tail. And the other thing I want you to notice is their ears. They have these little tufts of fur on their ears as well. Well, now a lynx, which looks similar to this, also have those, but a lynx, they have big sideburns. So that's going to be the best way to tell the difference between a bobcat and a lynx. Now the other thing I want to mention about bobcat that would make them kind of unique and kind of neat is a lot of times what they'll do is they'll hunt some pretty big things. So say a bobcat were to get down a fawn, a baby deer, which is a pretty big animal for a cat like this to take down. What they'll do is they'll get that fawn, they'll kill it, they'll eat part of it, and then they'll hide the rest. So a lot of times out in the field, especially in the winter time, you can tell there's a bobcat around because you'll find footprints and then a big pile of snow, and under that snow will actually be a, a large carcass of an animal like a deer. So that's something that's somewhat unique that bobcat actually do. And what he's doing right now is he's playing, but bobcat play pretty rough. And when you're a cat with big teeth like that, well, you can afford to play rough. But you'll see them do this to each other quite a bit. They like to bite a lot, they like to hit each other with their, their claws, just something that's somewhat common, just like your house cat, only on a bigger scale. Uh, but obviously a beautiful animal, and do look for them because, boy, seeing these animals out in the wild is just an incredible sight if you're lucky enough to catch one and see one out there. So pretty cool. Until then, I am Jeff the Zoo Guy. Hope to see you around. Thanks so much.